How do you do buckaroos? Let me get you a little panoramic there. There we go. Get the board and everything. So anyways, yeah, so we're at Lucky Supermarket in uh, Columbia, Missouri, but they you have a little in a cafe area up front where you can order various drinks. They have coffee, a uh, beer, a wine, uh, and a I got distracted for a second. So anyway, I'm having the 11 point IPA from Broadway Brewing, 5.6%. I hadn't had this before. It's got a nice color, nice kind of a deep golden, kind of a, kind of a tan or beige head. Pour it into a pint glass. And here's the crazy thing, it's $2, $2 a pint. So with tax, it was two sixteen dollars for a pint of, of a craft Local brewery, Broadway Brewing, right here out of Columbia, Missouri, IPA. You believe that nonsense? That's craziness. Great fresh aroma. It's a little pepper. I'm getting some peppery notes. So there's certainly some pine. It's a lot of citrus. I'm getting some grapefruit, some orange notes. Oh, yeah, man. That's what they like. Oh, wow. I've had some stuff from Broadway before. I've been to the brewery once, actually, uh, but I hadn't had this. So uh, when I saw it, I don't want to do it off and What the heck? We're gonna grab some stuff and head back home uh, because the produce at this store is is beyond amazing. We'll probably grab some coffee. Uh, and you know, you to get a beer and walk around the store with it. So anyways, I'm not gonna run long. I just want to share this with you. It has an interesting multi middle. I've been getting some apricot, some stone fruit notes in the middle there, some apricot specifically. I mentioned orange on, on, the, on, on the aromas, but the flavors I'm getting more, more tangerine than orange, to be honest. I'm also getting some grapefruit. I'm certainly getting pinches of pine in there. And I want to make this short. There's probably more going on, but it's certainly a beer we're trying, especially at two bucks of pine. I'm trying to beer whisper. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> How do you do about cruise? I'm trying to sneak one quick pint in before we leave here. Lucky's because it's $2 a pint. So I'm trying another one from Burr Oak. Uh, well, actually, I tried one from Broadway earlier. So I'm trying one from Burr Oak now. The Sacred Sun Saison, 5%. Burr Oak Brewery, Columbia, Missouri. Two bucks a pint. I've been looking at that. So I had an IPA earlier, but I want to try this one. I had a six pack of it, but I didn't feel like buying it. I do have a couple other Burr Oak six packs over that I bought. Oh, nice. But, it, but it's rather warm. Uh, it's rather warm. It's rather sticky, so I thought this might be refreshing as I get ready to try a log boat for the very first time. Well, I've had some of their beer, but I've never been to the brewery. How about if I say that? Uh, the aroma's look floral, as you expect the Saison to be. It has a very interesting dry floral finish that I really enjoy. Almost has um, what am I think? What's that flower I'm thinking of? Um, jasmine, maybe. Almost has like a jasmine feel about it. Elderflower. That's what I think of. Elderflower. It's kind of a uh, slight elderflower bitterness about it at the end. Nice to meet you guys. Take care. So, folks, we're talking about Piney River, so. Oh, well, so explaining how we're talking about different piney beers. So anyway, I'm going to knock this pint back real fast. I just thought I talked about it real quick, and not did not into you know a lot of detail, but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea what it was about. This is just an interesting little place. You can come and have a beer, do your shopping, and two bucks a pint. I mean, that's just craziness. It's it's insanity. I'm getting, I did, I'm just noticing some almost uh, apricot notes there in the middle. But yeah, I'm, I'm still getting kind of that floral, that kind of almost like elderflower bitterness right near the end. It's slightly dry, it's very nice. I'm trying to bear a sewer with I do later.